March 18th. Shall I rouse myself up to this? Perfecting Holiness in the Fear of God. 2 Corinthians 7.1 Having therefore these promises, I claim the fulfillment of God's promises, and rightly, but that is only the human side. The divine side is that through the promises I recognize God's claim on me. For instance, am I realizing that my body is the temple of the Holy Ghost? Or have I a habit of body that plainly will not bear the light of God on it? By sanctification, the Son of God is formed in me. Then I have to transform my natural life into a spiritual life by obedience to Him. God educates us down to the scruple. When He begins to check, do not confer with flesh and blood, cleanse yourself at once. Keep yourself cleansed in your daily walk. I have to cleanse myself from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit until both are in accord with the nature of God. Is the mind of my spirit in perfect agreement with the life of the Son of God in me? Or am I insubordinate in intellect? Am I forming the mind of Christ, who never spoke from his right to himself, but maintained an inner watchfulness, whereby he continually submitted his spirit to his Father? I have the responsibility of keeping my spirit in agreement with his spirit. And by degrees, Jesus lifts me up to where he lived, in perfect consecration to his Father's will, paying no attention to any other thing. Am I perfecting this type of holiness in the fear of God? Is God getting His way with me? And are other people beginning to see God in my life more and more? Be serious with God, and leave the rest gaily alone. Put God first, literally.